Obituary! I'm Donald, I'm the drummer for Obituary. You are on our bus and uh, uh, Cryptopsy's bus. And uh, this is the Cannibal Obituary Cryptopsy and uh, Abysmal, Abysmal Dawn. Dawn Tour. So, welcome. Bigger TV than I own at home. Uh, and it really, only thing we watch is uh, The Family Feud. I don't know why on this tour we've been uh, Steve Harvey in it. So, uh, it's off now. Satellite dish, I don't think it's working today because of the buildings, but uh, you know, you got all this satellite uh, technology and all these movies, but we're still watching Family Feud every day. So. And then, of course, the uh, most important thing is uh, the beverages on the bus. And it's stocked, ready to go. Your Essentials Budweiser and your Three Floyds hopped in half. That's the beer that uh, Three Floyds just brewed for obituary. Hopped in half. It's delicious. Yeah, you know the vibe is uh, long, long days of sitting around. There's 12 people on the bus. So, you know, you're doing a lot of either in your bunk or hanging out. There's not even enough seats for every person on here. So you normally hide yourself uh, in your bunk or you're hanging out uh, watching TV together. So it is what it is. I can only imagine it's going to be, uh, there you go, seltzer. This one is for the driver. It doesn't even open. But, uh, you know, we're healthy people. we got to stay alive on the road. Red Bulls. I don't touch those things. I think that's the grossest substance on the planet. But... Uh, I'm a water and Budweiser kind of guy. Day sheet pretty much just tells everybody what's going on, you know, when you're going to load in, when the gear goes in, what time your show time is, the most importantly, what time the bus leaves. You don't want to get left behind because we will leave you. Again, I mean, we're on tour, but we are somewhat healthy people. Um, well, you know, some of us are. And then, you know, cabinet typical junk cabinet of just bread and peanut butter and jelly and all that good stuff that grown men like to eat and uh and the fridge i'm, I'm guessing there's stuff in here uh it's only 12 people on here and of course the necessities it's the king of beers don't get mad at me if you don't like budweiser it's the king of beers it says it right on the can everybody because we are grown adults uh the coffee maker is the morning uh session their thing must make 50 cups a day when we all wake up and uh that's the morning, then it gets put away and it, it, it moves on to fruit and you know juices and water and all that good stuff and then and then all that gets put away during the night and then the you know then the delicious beverages start flying and stuff. And on, on every bus it, it's supposed to be like uh, the air psh, 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 like Star Wars, but uh, we're on a budget here. This bus you have to manually open it. But there's our luxury luxury bathroom it again it's actually a bigger bathroom than at my place where i live so uh and cleaner so that's a, that's a good thing this is the dungeon you know you, the, there's not much lights in here but that's because this is where uh this is where everybody sleeps just like any typical bus there's 12 bunks everybody's got their own bunk you know it's always an it's always a nightmare this is my bunk so i'll be happy to show you what exactly is going on in here everybody that knows obituary and knows obituary uh, that I'm a, uh, I do a lot of cat rescue back at home and uh, not only do I feed out of the bags but I also I keep the bag for practical reasons that's my little workout mat so my Purina crunchy bag is uh, is always there on hand and then of course my uh, my gig shorts I play half naked but I think most drummers do but uh, that's it nothing special nothing exciting and then uh, the back lounge you know, it, it's nice to have friends when they come on, um, family and friends that come up. Front lounge is usually to uh, in, in entertain friends, but the back lounge most of the time is business because, you know, there's a lot of computers, a lot of stuff on the bus, people always either counting money or merch money or just de doing with business. So back lounge is usually off limits to people and, and it is uh, strictly for the bands that are on the bus. But, uh, you know, again, it's the same thing, man. You know, another TV, this one I don't think has been turned on, but maybe twice the whole tour because everyone usually hangs up front and uh, and either that or you're in your bed. So, you know, we we do the show in general. We leave around 2 or 3 in the morning every night. By then, everyone's kind of crawling in their bunks and the driver drives for 10 hours as we sleep. So, yeah, you know, and this is, uh, again, Three Floyds hooked us up. That's some of the merchandise that brought. That's actually a, a hoodie that they brought for us. And, uh... We're super stoked that uh, that they wanted to do something with us, and uh, we were we had uh, we had a say so in what kind of brew they wanted because uh, you know a triple hoppy maple burnt toast beer is fun for like one, but again my brother and I are beer drinkers. I like Budweiser because I like to drink ten beers at a time. So when we did the three Floyds, we told them we said we we simply want a beer that we're gonna enjoy, and uh, 
and so they made the brew where it's uh, half the hops. That's where the hopped in half came in half in uh, in play, and uh, and it actually came out delicious. Hopefully, whoever's in their area, you'll be able to pick up a beer or a case or a pallet because they're they're pretty delicious. There you go. You saw the obituary Cryptopsy bus on the Cannibal tour. Things have been amazing. I'm glad you guys got to see my bus, but now it is time for you to leave. Good night.